Dr. Arl Edvardsson from Norway is meeting many presidents and heads of states among the world leaders as he works for peace and harmony among nations and religions. His gospel meetings have also gathered great multitudes around the world, also in Muslim countries, where he has met the supreme Muslim leaders. What do people in the so-called Christian West know about Muslims and Islam's holy book, the Quran? In these days with violence, conflicts, and terrorism, there are many misconceptions. Dr. Aurel Edwardson has many friends among the highest Muslim scholars and political leaders in Muslim countries. Dr. Edwardson does not claim to be an expert on the Hadith or Islamic commentaries, but he has for many years studied the Quran, and he thinks that the Quran can speak for itself. Dr. Edwardson does not like to call himself a Christian due to the corruption of large parts of the so-called Christian West. He calls himself a disciple of Jesus Christ and a preacher of the gospel, and he interprets both the Quran and the Bible based upon the revelation that our only true God is a loving, gracious, and merciful God. In this program, Dr. Arl Edverson tries to answer TV reporter Jerry Newcomb's questions about Islam, the Quran, and the gospel of Jesus Christ. Dr. Edverson, can you be a good Muslim and not believe in Jesus? Well, I talk to many Muslim scholars about that and they will say, no, you cannot be a good Muslim if you don't believe in Jesus Christ. What does that mean to believe in Jesus Christ? Well, uh, of course, uh, you will find different opinion about uh, Jesus among Muslims. Mm -hmm. uh, whether they are Sunni or Shiite Muslims. But um, also the tradition, the commentaries uh, to the Quran is uh, very much different opinion about Jesus. But different? I, you mean the commentaries differ from each other, or do you mean that the commentaries differ from what the Quran says? They are different says? from each other. Okay. But uh, also, uh, some of them, are, in my opinion, is different from the Quran. So if I and I don't, I don't care for the commentaries. I read the Quran as it is, mm -hmm. and also the Christian uh, uh, gospels have a lot of commentaries. There are all kinds of Catholics, Protestant, Adventists. I don't care for the commentary. I go straight to the source. Mm -hmm. So let's go straight to the source of uh, Islam. Okay. Let's go to the Quran about Jesus. For example, in Surah 43, uh, 61 to 64, and Jesus shall be a sign for the coming of the hour of judgment. Therefore have no doubt about the hour, but follow me, Jesus said. This is the straight way. Let not the evil one hinder you, for he is to you an enemy of old. When Jesus came with clear signs, he said, Now I have come to you with wisdom, and in order to make clear to you some of the points on which you dispute, therefore fear Allah and follow me. For Allah, he is my Lord and you Lord, so worship you him. This is the straight way. So here, Jesus say that, let not the devil hinder you hmm. to follow Jesus. Uh, Quran quotes Jesus saying, follow me. And this is very similar to what we read in the Gospel. For example, when um, some of his greatest apostles was called Peter, John, Andrew, and other, they were fishermen. And as Jesus walked along the shore, of the Sea of Galilee, they were there mending their nets. Mm -hmm. And we can read in the Gospel how Jesus came up to them, talked to them. He did a miracle with fishes, so they filled their nets, so they nearly, uh, their boats sunk. <laughs> and when they saw the miracle, they understood that this man is special, this Jesus is special. He must be the Messiah of God. And then Jesus said to them, follow me. We can read that several times in the gospel. Jesus came to people and said, follow me. 
And that's exactly what is said here in the Quran. Jesus said, believe in Allah and follow me. So if you're a good Muslim, part of being a Muslim then is to follow Jesus. Yes, I cannot, I cannot interpret it in another way. Hmm. So that's why uh, we who follow Jesus, you see, I don't say so much, I don't use so much to say I'm a Christian, because that can mean so much. Because, you know, the Christian West is, you see, on satellites, movies, pornography, a lot of terrible things comes out of the Christian world. Violence. Violence. So I, I call myself a follower of Jesus. So when I read the Quran, what Jesus said in the Quran, follow me, mm -hmm. it must be the truth that every Muslim should also be followers of Jesus Christ. Let me ask you a question about that particular uh, Quranic verse there. He says, I am the sign, or this is the sign. What does that word sign mean, and how does that relate to Jesus? Well, it's a sign from God. Uh, Jesus is a special sign, because uh, in the Quran, he's uh, also one of the prophets, but he's very special, mm -hmm. because no other prophet was born by a virgin, mm -hmm. or was born by the Spirit of God. So in this way, Jesus is a sign, and all the prophets are dead, they are in their tombs. Mm. But Jesus was lifted up to heaven, and he is there uh, by the right hand of God, mm. and he shall come back and be the judge on the day of resurrection. So that's why he is uh, also a sign for the hour of judgment. So um, no other prophet shall come back and judge the world except Jesus. This is very clearly expressed here in the Quran and also in the Bible. But to follow Jesus is to work for peace. It's to work for understanding between human beings, not to put fuel on the fire of hatred and jealousy. It is to help each other. It is to uh, love each other. And Jesus even told us to love our enemies. Hmm. I know this is very, very hard to do. And we only can love our enemies if we get the love of Jesus Christ into our heart. But hatred only breeds hatred. And as we now look upon the world in the Middle East and many other places, it's a terrible situation. More and more violence, more and more hatred. And, you know, we are living in the nuclear age with weapons of mass destruction. You see, this can destroy the whole world. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and as, lots of innocent people. And lots of innocent people. So we need to follow Jesus, the way to peace today. Whether we are Muslim, Christian, or wherever we are, Jesus is the great example for us. Hmm. Okay, bring it down to an individual level. All right, what does it mean for me if I'm watching this program uh, and I want, to, I want to follow Jesus? I want to obey what you're saying about the gospel and the Koran, to follow Jesus. What does that mean for my life? Let me just tell what I did. I grew up in a Christian country. They called me Christian, but I had no idea about Christ. But when I was 18 years old, I came into a meeting and I heard they preach the gospel that I should pray and accept Jesus by faith into my heart. And I just prayed very simple, God, I'm a sinner. I repent from my sins. And now I believe in Jesus, the Messiah, your Savior that you sent to the world. God, come into my heart with the Spirit of Jesus Christ. And he came in. And uh, a new day began in my life. And I want to tell everyone hmm. they can have the same new day in their lives when they accept Jesus Christ by faith into their hearts as their Messiah and God's Savior.